Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, I'm here today to review some new product that I have here. I have uh, the beautiful Pat McGrath Lab um, palette here. That's a collection that I received the other day. I also have the new Peter Thomas Ruth SPF for the face. I also have the Jack and Heal products and I have some uh, new lipstick from Linda Halber. So there is a couple of products that we are going to use today. So if you're interested to see that, then please keep on watching. I've been liking Jaclyn Hill's products a lot. I haven't tried the lipsticks. They are on my wish list that I sent to my friend Valerie. So I don't know if she's going to send any shade to me in our next box swap this fall. I have no idea, but I'm kind of keeping that um, as a teaser. I really, really want to try them, but I'm going to wait until after the box swap and see if I got any, or if not, then I'm going to purchase. But I really like her highlighters. I really enjoy this palette. This is the palette that I have. It's dirty because I've been using it a lot. And I, this is the flash. I love the shades. They are very pigmented. They're very easy to use. Love all of the shades and I really like the, you know, the highlighters. So there is no problem with that. And i am also got the new, what's called, the brightening and setting palette. This is the lightest one. They came in this kind of packaging. It's a beautiful silvery packaging. I really like it. And you have the shades name here. And I bought the lightest shade. I wasn't really sure if I'm going to go for the lightest or the second one because uh, the lightest looked very light on online. But I'm glad that I got the lightest shade because I do like to brighten my under eyes and I think these shades are going to suit me very good also during the winter and the fall. And if I like the texture, if I like the powder, I can always purchase the other one too. So I'm glad I got this one. I also bought this powder. This is the under eye powder. And I bought it, came in this package. I bought the pink one, brightening pink. This is how the packaging looks like. Very beautiful. I really love the packaging. I bought the pink one because I, one of my favorite powders under my eyes was the Huda Beauty's one. And I think she had, I don't know if it's called Cupcake. I'm not really sure about the name, but it is the pink one. And I love that one. I used up every drop of that powder. So I was very happy to see that she, Jacqueline Hill, relieved also the brightening pink. So I got that one too to try. And of course, if you already know me and watch my videos, you know I'm looking for a new under eye primer because my Becca one is almost... Um, I almost used up this one and I'm not... I'm having a hard time to find to buy a new one and also where you can purchase them they are a little bit more expensive than usual because unfortunately this is not going to be able to buy after September. So I got this one. So let's just try these products. So a couple of these products I've been having a while like this NARS uh, the concealer this is uh, in shade vanilla. I also purchased this one last week. Vanilla or not, this is one of the, my favorite concealers out there. I love all this concealer. But I think this one is a little bit too heavy to have on the eyes, but I like to spot conceal with this one, so we are going to use that today. And I also really am curious to try Linda Halberg's new lipsticks. This is in shade Nougat. I kind of went with a more nude shade, so we're going to use that. And of course, finally, I'm here to try the nude stick eyebrow product. This is eyebrow stylish stylish waterproof pencil and setting gel and this is in shade brown. I finally got to try this and I've used it once. I liked it but I was kind of in a hurry going to work so I didn't actually thought about this product a lot so I'm kind of curious to try it again and I saved to try it in this video but it comes in this packaging. I think this is packaging is a little bit too bulky. I mean there is no need for this one. You have also the information how to use every step. So I'm going to use it today. Very curious. And also, before we start, let's go in. Let's start. So I'm going to go in with this Peter Thomas Ruth uh, Max Matte Shine Control Sunscreen 45 SPF 45. Mattify creams help to reduce pores, clogging excess oils with a weightless sheer finish. Suitable for oily skin. 
Oh my god. I already tried these two days in a row and I really love this sunscreen. Really love this sunscreen. Uh, I don't know if I have a sunscreen mat that I used last year. Yes, I do. Uh, last year I tried this one. This is the A Academy Clinic Day Maximum Sense SPF 50. Really like this one. This is also very good for oily skin. But this uh, could be used when you open it six months. And I bought it last year, so it's a little bit too old. So I'm going to get rid of that one. But I needed a new one, and I needed one that is going to keep my oils in control because you know sunscreens on the face are very hard to find for oily skin. I tried many, but many kind of slipped around, my makeup didn't last, I looked oily, I looked greasy, my foundation looked weird, everything looked terrible. So I've seen this one around and I purchased it, I think it's Revolve, I'm not really sure about the website, but I'm going to put it down below if you live in Sweden where you can purchase it. And also I will link where you can purchase it if you live outside of Sweden. But this only existed on that website, so it's kind of hard to find, but I'm very glad that I ha got it because it does have that uh, texture of sunscreen and it feels, you know, like sunscreen does, a little bit heavier and uh, that smell too, but it kind of do it doesn't last on the face, uh, the, the scent. But it feels really good. It feels light on the skin when you apply it. Uh, it blurred my pores a little bit and it kept my makeup in place and my oils all day and I love it for that, love it. I've been pairing it together with my Hourglass Veal Primer that I love. So let's check it. I'm going to use it today. I love, love, love this primer. That's one of the best primers I've ever used. And it goes very well with this sunscreen. So I'm going to use that today. I thought that I would use products that I usually don't use on my channel a lot. So while this is sitting on my face, I already prime my eyelid. So we are going to let this sit. And we are going to go in with this small palette from Pat McGrath. This is Divide Rose Luxe Quad Eternal Eden. So I'm going to take this brush from Cash Beauty number no. 6 and I'm going to go into this pink shade here. That's Pink Mystique. Mystique, I think it's called, this one. The matte shade. Oh, it's kind of powdery. I don't know if you can see it, but... Oh, it's pigmented. I've been liking the Divine Rose collection. I've been using it a lot. And I do like pinks. This is blending very nice. This looks to be not exactly matte. It kind of looks like being a satin or, satin or something. It's a little bit between a matte and satin. But it's very creamy. It blends like a dream without any problem. But it is a little bit powdery in the pan. I'm going to go in with this second shade, Forbidden Fruit, here, the second matte shade in this palette. Place there. I'm going to, you know, do my classic makeup look. It's kind of fast, but easy to use. That suit is my eyeshadow shape. Well, this is very nice. This one is buildable. I'm going to go in with a flat brush. This is the Cash Beauty number nine. And I'm going to go in with this shade here. This is the name called Earthly Delight. And I'm not going to blend it, I'm just going to use it. Okay, uh, I feel like we do need to wet this. Or use it with a finger. When you use it with a finger, it comes out. Uh, it's much easier to use it with a finger, I have to say. But this is stunning. This is a beautiful shade. I'm going to try it with the brush again, the same brush, and go in this lightest shade here that's called Temptation. And pop it here. This one applies a little bit easier than the other one with the brush, but I'm still going to go in with my finger. But like these shades are easiest to use with your fingers. Oh, that's beautiful. 
that's kind of peachy do a chrome shade oh i love that i don't know if you can see i feel like the camera doesn't pick up these shades the way i wish it would because they are more stunning when i look at myself in the mirror than when i look at myself on camera okay guys it's time to go in with this primer from Jaclyn Hill under eye primer and I'm going to see what it says in this on this packaging this is kind of hard to read because it's silver and white text primer hydrates the del del delicate under eye area with this skin perfecting primer so let's go in I've seen people using this and I'm really excited to use it myself Oh, it feels so cooling. I like that. It kind of reminds me of Huda Beauty's concealer, which is really good concealer. Really, really good concealer. I'm going to use my fingers and tap it in. Oh, it feels nice. It feels very light on the skin. And my uh, under eyes feel very soft. Very hydrating, and I have high hopes for this. I have to be honest, really high hopes. That that felt very nice on the skin, really, really good. I the foundation I'm going to use today, maybe will be a surprise for you guys, but I'm going to go in with Kai Cosmetics foundation. Yesterday I applied this foundation together with this brush from Cash Beauty number no. two, and I've been loving how it looked. I also used just a little bit of the foundation, so let's do that today too. But before we do that, I forgot to conceal, spot conceal with my concealer. And this is, if you have oily skin or textured skin and you have things to hide, this concealer is really, really nice. So let's go with the foundation, shake it again. I'm going to take a pump and use one pump on this brush and go in like this. So we are all going to go in with uh, this concealer. I've been loving this concealer. I had to repurchase this one. Uh, just because I have plenty of concealers, but I missed this concealer in my collection So that's why I bought it and I'm using the Cash Beauty sponge Oh my god, I really like this my under eyes look very nice And I think this primer so far is pretty good I'm going to see how the powder is going to look usually when I apply a powder on my eyes it makes it look dry so let's go in with the powder I'm, on one side i'm going to use this powder to brighten up on the other side i'm going to use this palette and i love the mirror in here the mirror is amazing love the mirror so let's go in with this pink powder i'm going to close this Tap some into this. Whoa, whoa, that's a lot of powder. And um, let's blend the concealer. So I'm going to tap my sponge into it. Maybe I use too much. Who knows? We'll see. This is definitely brightening my complexion. I could definitely use a less uh, a lighter hand with this powder, but you know what? Pores wear. When I look at myself very close, it's so smooth, and when I smile. Yeah, my smile mouths are there, but they don't look too dry. They definitely look much better. I don't know if it's the powder or the under eye primer, but something looks really good. And it brightened up my complexion. I look very awake. I know how it looks on the camera. I feel like the camera makes it look a little bit lighter, 
than it definitely is. But oh my god, I'm really liking how this powder smoothed everything. Definitely smoothing. Definitely smoothing. I love this pink. So I'm going to go in and hmm. I don't know which one to use. I want to go in and use this shade here. I'm going to use the sponge. Let's go with that. And maybe this up here. Mix these two. And let go. With the palette. Let's see. Definitely a lighter shade than this pink powder. But oh my god. I'm really liking how it smoothed everything. It's more bright than the other side with this pink. Um, so I'm going to go in with this shade here. I don't know what it's called. This is one almond. Um, almond. Almond. And I'm loving how this is looking on my eyes. This is definitely brightening up, making it look more bright and I'm loving it than this side, but it feels very light. It smoothed everything. I feel like this powder is more smoothing and looks better on my pores than this one. It doesn't, this doesn't look terrible on my pores at all. It smoothed them a lot, but I feel like my skin definitely likes this one a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So I'm going to go in a little bit with this shade just a little bit and bright up this side more so it kind of evens out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use my br some bronzer and the bronzer I'm going to go in is Kai Cosmetics Bronzer. So I'm going to use Kai Cosmetics Bronzer and bronze my skin just because I can. And for the brush, I'm going to use Eco Tools brush and bronze my skin. And I'm going to go a little bit heavier with the bronzer just so we can see how it's going to clean. So I'm going to go in with a blush and for the blush, I'm going to take this Scott Bonds palette. And, hmm. Let's go in with some pinks. So I'm going to go in with this scary pink here, a very rose one. And maybe that won't be a mistake, maybe it will be too much, but we are going to go with that. Too much blush? I don't think so. If it is, we'll use Jacqueline's palette to bring it down or take it down a little bit, a notch. So just tapping. Just like this. Oh, such a beautiful blush. It's pigmented, but it's easy to blend. I feel like I am, when I look at myself right now, I look very bright under here. It doesn't look heavy or cakey. This looks a little bit dry, uh, like it's cracking here a little bit. I don't know if it's the, I don't think it's the concealer, but I don't know if it's the under eye primer or is it the powder. Use the pink one too. Feels like I'm applying a lot of powder, but it doesn't look like that on the skin. My hair is really messing with me today. I do look a little bit dry here. This is really interesting. The under eyes, everything looks very smooth, very nice, but it looks like the concealer is separating a little bit under my eyes and those wrinkles that I have or smile lines that I have here, they are more visible because the concealer or the powder is setting, settling in those lines. So I'm going to experiment to see if it's the concealer. I don't think it's concealer, but maybe it's the under eye primer. I applied my under eye cream and then went on with the under eye primer. Maybe I should not use eye cream and go just with the primer. You know, I, I need I need to experiment to see if it's the powder or the concealer or the under eye primer 
or my eye cream who knows what it could be but everything else looks very smooth and I'm really liking how it looks so I don't I'm not saying this is a bad product I definitely like it I like how it brightened up everything in when I look at myself in the camera, it feels like it's too bright, but when I'm in real life, it looks really, really nice. I really like it. So I'm going to go in with the powder and clean. Let's just clean a little bit. I don't usually do that, but I've seen people doing this a lot and it's looking stunning. So maybe I should start using Let's have it like that. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to go in with brow product while this is sitting and baking. So for the brow product, we are going to go in and use this nude stick. And this is how this looks. I use this once, like I said in the beginning of the video, just to, you know, try it fast and see how it's looking. I know how people can write, do the strokes with this product. I can't. This is really creamy, so be careful to not press too hard. Feels like this, is shade, this shade is a little bit warmer than my hair. So let's go in. Uh, the eyebrow product itself is really good. It's creamy. I feel like the shade is maybe not the best for me. It's a little bit warmer than my eyebrows, but it's nice eyebrow pencil so let's go in with the gel they just released the gel by itself and it's definitely a really good eyebrow gel this is a really good eyebrow gel I need to buy the set the gel itself because it's really really good I like it a lot so I'm going to go in with this palette again and I'm go just going to use some shade to uh, one shade to blend it under my lower lash line and for that I'm going to go in with this NYX eye brush I don't know what number it is I got it from my friend Valerie I'm going to use uh, this shade and just blend it on the lower lash line okay so I'm going to remove this bake it feels kind of tight on the skin but it doesn't feel uncomfortable so let's go in and just remove this. She said also, Jacqueline said that this has some pigment. I could definitely see myself using this kind of technique when I'm doing my full face or makeup, but not usually because I don't know, I don't like when it looks this clean. <laughs> Maybe not the best clean person ever, but just going to go in with this sponge because I'm not really liking how bright it made everything down here. Oh, I applied more powder. That wasn't really my attention. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the highlighter now. And be before I go in with my thoughts. Uh, for the highlighter, I'm going to go in with this palette. Let's go in with this Morphe and um, the, no, this is the Jeffree Star and Morphe. I mean, this brush needs, I don't know, it's not the best brush you see how it looks, but we're going to use it today. And we are going to use the mixture of these first shades up here. Oh, that's a lot of highlighter. I'm going to set everything because we do need a setting spray. We can't just... Let's go in with this uh, oil control mat from uh, Catrice. Let just everything melt. I'm not going anywhere today. So I'm going to use the Pat McGrath mascara. I know it's going to smudge, but it looks so good on my eyelashes. But I'm going to use it when I'm home. I do want to use it up. Look how it makes my eyelashes stunning. I don't get why it has to be, why it has to smudge. 
So this is only one coat and I think it's enough. I'm not going to put mascara on the lower lash line. I'm actually going to clean my lower lash line because uh, I smudged some of the um, mascara. We are going to go in and see how this Nougat lipstick, li Velvet Co Contour Liquid Lipstick from Linda Halberg looks. I haven't um, seen this in plenty of videos. So I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to look. So this is the packaging. It's really a beautiful, beautiful packaging. It looks really, really nice. And it's uh, this brown shade. So I am going to go in with MAC Lip Liner in uh, Strip Down. I mean, I know that maybe a rosy kind of lipstick will be better with this makeup look, but I don't have any right now and I really want to try this lipstick. So you forgive me for going in with a brown shade. The Noga from Linda Halberg. I do like Linda Halberg's lipstick. I have those glossy ones that she released and I haven't tried this. Oh, this is uh, definitely brown. It's very moussey, light texture. This is more like a cool shade. It feels comfortable, very light on the lips. I like it. We're going to see how this is going to wear, of course. I do like the shade. It doesn't really go with this makeup look, with the eye look, but still, I wanted to try it because it's been sitting for weeks and I haven't been able to try it before. So, okay. So let's talk. Okay. One product at a time. Let's go first with the this sunscreen. Love it. I've been using it. This is the third time using it and I really like it. I know it wears very good with my foundation and it keeps my own in control. I did wear it together with Care Cosmetics foundation. Love it. And also my Catrice Holy Grail and I know it for So I really like this product. Definitely something I will continue using and recommend. This eye eyeshadow palette. It's wonderful. It's really, really easy. It looks very romantic, very rosy. If you like this kind of shade, you're going to like it. It's very beginner friendly too, very easy to use and blend. Uh, I just wish that this matte shade that we have in here, this one was just a slightly deeper. So I know I just like those kind of shades to deep out the outer corner a little bit more, but I really like this palette. Definitely going to use it a lot. That's a really good thing. Uh, Jack and Hill highlighters, we know, we love them, I love it, no complaints about that. And it's really Okay guys, I did fix my hair a lot because I'm not going anywhere, but this is, okay, let's just pretend you're not here, okay? There, there you go, be there, stay there, look weird. Okay. Uh, okay, where were we? Yes, the lipstick is very comfortable, it wears very nice. Uh, it's very light. I, don't, I can't feel it on my lips, but it feels like it's going to be a long wear product. I'll definitely check out other shades. I really like this one. This is more like a cool uh, brown shade, neutral brown shade. I really like it. So definitely going to continue wearing it. So let's talk about the powders, the palette and this loose one. Okay. My under eyes look very smooth and it feels very smooth. Uh, I don't know. It, it looks very nice. I know it looks in, when you look at this video, let me know down below. But when I look at myself in the mirror, I look very bright and very awake. I think I prefer the loose one a little bit more than the palette. But I think I'm going to use the palette in different ways too because both of the products smooth everything i think this the palette is more bright and i'm going to use it i like when it looks like that uh, i can see that here let's see how it looks on the monitor i feel like my under the bags and if you can see the darkness here it's less visible this side 
with this palette because it's more bright and it looks more awake. So I like that a little bit more. When it comes over my over my pores, I like the loose one a little bit more. Let's go to the under eye here. I don't know if you can see, but it doesn't look good. It creased a lot and I just applied the makeup. Uh, I don't know if it's the under eye primer or what it is, but it doesn't look good here. It does not look good here. I'm going to use this under eye primer a little bit more with other concealers and I'll try to use it without the um, my eye cream. And uh, I know I'm going to use it a little bit more because I do want to find a dupe for the for the Becca's one and I had high hopes for this one and it just didn't leave any good experience. I don't know why but these I have some bumps under my under my uh, eyes and they are so much visible now than usual. Very visible. I don't know if it's the under eye primer or if it's the powder on top but it creased, it cracked and it settled into my fine lines. So I do not like how my under eyes this part looks. But everything else, it looks very smooth. My pores here look very smooth. I feel like the, the powder very smooth everything. So I really like the powders. I'm a fan about this. I need to try this a little bit more. You know, with the first impression videos, it's very hard to see what exactly works and does not work. So far, I feel like uh, my makeup looks very nice. It looks smooth, I love my eyes. The lips look nice, the powder looks nice. It cleaned a lot here. It looks, right now when I look at myself in the mirror, it looks nice, but I do like that more um, not so clean look, if I have to be honest, but it looks good. Maybe I could definitely use it more if I want this clean look, but my face looks very smooth. It feels very smooth and it looks very light. It doesn't feel like I have plenty of powders. I applied a lot of powder on my eyes. It doesn't feel like that. It doesn't look like that. Just my under eyes right here that look creaky and heavy and doesn't look good. I don't know if it's powder or if it's the, the under eye primer together with my eye cream or if it's the eye cream together with the concealer or if it's the concealer together with the eye primer. I do not know. <laughs> But I'll definitely experiment and let you know down below or let you know in another video. Maybe that's a little bit easier. But guys, that was everything. Let me know down below if you tried any of these products. What do you think about them? What do you think about the Jaclyn Hill collection? I really like this. I really, really like this. Both of these I will use and like. I think I prefer this kind of loose more than this one. But I do like this palette and I'm going to use it, of course, uh, more. Uh, because it's smoothing, it's brightening, and it looks really, really good. And can you see it? Yes, it looks really, really good. So I think I brought, bought, brought, bought a really good shade. Uh, I think that if I went a little bit dark, I think that would be a little bit too dark for me. Um, and it would look weird because you do have these two shades that I can play with. I think this is as deep as I can go for my other eyes. But it looks so smooth. It really, now when I blended everything, my hand looks very smooth and very nice. So, I don't know. I like it. I like the powders. I just had really high hopes for the under eye primer and it made me a little bit disappointed. But like I said, I don't know what it is. It makes me a little bit frustrated, but I'm definitely going to continue playing with it and use it more and let you know down below. But this is the final look. I'm going to go with the rest of my day and uh, please let me know guys down below what you think. Did you try this product? Are you curious to try? Let your thoughts down below. Please be nice to each other. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye!